contain the power of the well. We have a plan to send you there. Vega will walk you through the process. Okay, what's the plan? Hello? What's the plan? Come on, speak. Hello? Yay, thank you for exp just not explaining like that. This is my primary operating facility. It is where I was created and where my core processing unit is maintained. It takes approximately 2.4 terawatts of power to sustain my operational capabilities, but it has been decided that we can use that power to send you to the source of the portal. I will not survive the procedure and am unable to self-terminate, so I will walk you through the process. All interior and exterior facility doors have been secured. You will need to begin by finding a way in and disabling the security systems. We good now? Okay, first of all it's Vegas' plan, not my plan. And with that now finally out of the way... This is the last Mars level. Uh, and it looks entirely too much like we're on fucking Earth. Because, first of all... The blue skies, the white clouds, and all that sort of stuff. We basically just... It's almost as if this place was built on top of Mount Everest or some shit like that. Or maybe even one of the poles. Actually, no, there's a lot more mountainous terrain, so it would definitely be more like a mountain. Uh, so... Uh, this isn't the last Mars level. It's the second last level of the game. I probably shouldn't even be doing this right now. It is 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm just a bit tired. But I thought, fuck it, let's just go challenge condition to the max. Why not? Also, I've just completely and utterly skipped past a elite guard back here. I thought there was one back here somewhere, but I just completely missed him. Yeah, he's over here. Hiding pretty much in plain sight, really. So, we'll get that out of the way. Uh, yeah, I've got t like 28 weapon upgrade points. Okay, let's just go ahead and... Uh, Invest, I guess. We'll max all that out. Uh, did, did, did. I guess we can mess around with this. And then... Lock now support. Eh, you might as well invest in that. Kill five summoners using... Well, fuck, so much for that mastery. We are not getting that mastery because I don't think there's even five summoners left in the game. So, we're pretty much screwed in that regard. Additional headshot damage, that's always nice. Move faster. Uh, could invest in that. I don't really see why not. Eh. Nah, I'll go with this. Actually, I can't because I've only got the six. Okay, I'll just hang on to those and once I have enough, I'll get that second siege mode upgrade and hopefully the mastery won't be too difficult. So now that's out of the way, uh, I think there's another, yeah, there's a collectible doll just up here as well. So before we've even met any enemies, we've got a couple of the collectibles out of the way. Uh, where are you at? There you are. I think this is Quake Guy, actually. FG Blast is always nice, especially since I'm out of them. Yeah, Hellgar model Quake Guy. Uh, don't think I need to establish where that comes from. I think I could have just gone down that way and just jumped down here, but whatever. Whichever way works, I guess. Psst. You're out of the way. Anyways, um, as you can see, there's like fuck all stuff for us to collect here because there is only the two left elite guards left in the game. As well as the four secrets that are here, one of which is a classic map, so... There's not a whole lot of stuff left to pick up. We've got all of the weapon mods from the combat support drones we have all of the uh, what do you call it argent cells and so we're pretty much just about done fully upgrading ourselves the only thing we're going to miss out on is operate on two separate networks that terminate in this maintenance facility each termination point is protected by an electrified field but you should survive the surge very, very good sarcasm there, Vega. Why did you have to interrupt me while I was explaining shit? Like I said, the part that, I want, that I'm that i not going to max out in is all of the weapon mods because I just don't have the points. But that's fine. Anyways, this is going to shut the shit out of us. 
fired. It doesn't do any damage to us whatsoever because we're just professional like that. Also, I did not see that there earlier. I guess it must have just sort of spawned in or whatever. But yeah, we got those two switches to hit. We hit the first one. I think the second one's like down there or something like that. Just inadvertently hit the button to throw grenades. Might as well hit this as well. Actually, no, we'll hit it later. I'm not entirely sure if that one will trigger any enemies to come in. And if it doesn't, I'll get rid of the enemies now and then take care of that later. Not quite what I was after, but it works because I can get glory kills in and get health and shit like that. I actually watched one of the, uh, this really awesome snap map level that someone designed it. Like, you had to get some, you had to, like, go through this facility, get to hell, a, a kill a gore nest, which was like a, it was a fucking pretty beastly gore nest because it triggered just about every enemy type in the game. And then you had to go all the way back in order to deliver the chunk of whatever it is you just ripped out to the um, Marine HQ or whatever the hell. You kind of have to use your imagination with that because it's not exactly like a good really script such things to happen. But it it's a nice it's a, it's a nice way to use your imagination in a game of this level of I guess contemporaryness. Oh, I don't know sound. Okay, there is... Yes, there is sound. Yeah, I don't know why that sound continues to play up. It's very stupid. I want to blame it on my speakers. You won't actually notice it, though, because I have found that it still records the sound anyway, so I think it actually is a problem specifically with my audio. So, I mean, no, no, not my audio, my um speakers. It's really stupid. I've only had these for, like, a couple of months, and yet they've already been playing up. My vital operating systems are now vulnerable. I recommend destroying my coolant system first. This will accelerate the destabilization process. Thanks, I guess. Yeah, remind me not to punch a lost soul to death next time with the Berserk Pack. Alright, Cax. Hey. Hey. Fucking your shit up. Come on. Let me the fuck up there. Punch you out. Come on. Alright. You shouldn't have dropped lower. Because then I was gonna, just going to fuck your shit up. Oh, wait, no. That was a chunk of body part. That'll do. Tear your head off. Come on. There was another cack here somewhere. That cack is now in bunches of pieces. Fuck off, Hellraiser. Okay, what am I dealing with now? Could grab the invulnerability. Fuck it. Grab the invulnerability, if only because of the health boost that I'm getting out of it. You might have actually noticed it by now, but uh, the invulnerability power-up looks kind of similar to a BFG blast pickup, and you will actually find later on in this level that I've that that actually can kind of screw you over. It actually screwed me over, and I don't know why it did, but. It did, and it annoyed me the shit, the shit out of me, and made me think that this is the hardest level in the game. To be perfectly honest, it probably still is. Just naturally, because this level is pretty ass. I mean, Lazarus Labs can be pretty clusterfucky, especially with the... Oh, fucking you. Lovely. The thing that really pisses me off about these guys is the fact that they have a shotgun, so if you get right up close and personal, shut your mouth. <laughs> when you get right up close and personal to them, you think, okay, well, that shouldn't be too much of an issue, and then you just get a whole bunch of fucking pellets shoved up your ass, and then you just kind of get your shit fucked. Oh, hello. He's not... He doesn't have any of his, uh, faceplate things, though. That fella didn't have any of his plate things. I guess I just... I guess I got rid of them when I hit him with the thing, so... Yeah, really sucking ass here. Unfortunately. Just being a bit droney as usual, but uh, you need a blue key to get in there. I think that's meant to be like a hidden way to get there. Because I think one of the other ways that you're supposed to get in there is by using a... I think you're supposed to use an elevator. Yeah, you're supposed to use an elevator. Shut up, UAC people. You're useless. Five more of those to go. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember now. 
because what you want to do is you want to go in there and it'll take you to the blue key. Now, 150 health and I'm still uh, just a hint of concern. Not quite as concerned now, but there's still the matter of that guy to fuck up. Hot shots. Stop with your flamethrowers, dick. Okay, now I think over here, yeah. Uh, you're supposed to use the blue key. I mean, no, no you're not. Yeah, my train of thought is really terrible right now. I'd like to redo it, but I'm already far beyond that point of where I'm actually able to scrap the segment and redo it. As I found when I was doing the Necropolis, but yeah, you just want to open this one and that gives you a BFG Blast if you don't already have Max. This I think is just useless and that will just take you down to the next area. Uh, what you want to do though instead is if you want to get access to that blue key door, whatever, you want to open this up. For it will let you down here. Where you'll have to fight some more shit, unfortunately, but... Thankfully, the worst that you're dealing with is just a spectre or two. Also, you did not have the right to survive two shotgun blasts there. Okay, 27 out of 30, just need three more. And then that'll be really good to, to use against the final boss. Just a lot of damage output, really. So there's your blue key, and there's one of the doors that you can use your blue key on. And then in here, this basically takes you to the same place. You just don't need the thing for it. Now, yeah, as soon as you come in here, this guy will say g'day and just kind of try to fuck your shit up, but will fail epically. And I think as well, if you look around in here, I never was never able to remember precisely where it was in this room, but the uh, classic map switch, yeah, here it is. Classic map lever is here, so. I actually can't even remember what level I unlock with this. I know where it is, though. You gotta go back here. And if you go around here, there is this. Yeah, here it is. Ah, oh, yeah, command control. E1M4. So that's the second command control reference we've had in this game, with the first one being that random codex entry that we found in the second level. You can shoot those, right? Yeah, I, I, I knew you could blow those up. I don't know why I randomly tested that out. And with the Gauss Cannon, of all things. So she switched to this. I've not used this that much, but it's actually not too bad from what I've gathered. Especially when you can just go... That. Just four blasts within, like, maybe a second and a half. That's actually not too bad. Although it has wasted four shells, unfortunately. There's another good reason for taking this road, because you get that. And I believe you also want to take this pathway in order to... Oh, yep, yeah, I remember. Yeah, this is literally just here for the other collectible doll. Jungle guy, apparently. And let's just look at a model of the Cyberman Cubus. Beautiful. So that's the collectible dolls for this level. And there's just the one elite guard left, which I believe is right towards that's right towards the end of the level. So not much more that we need to worry about here. That takes us out to the next area. And this is the Yeah, these are the elevators from earlier. So that's the intended way, but of course you've got the blue key if you wanted to go and get all those other fun time secrets and shit. You are looking at the only absolutely evil cooling system ever constructed and it took years to perfect. Destroy each of the four coolant generators. Once they are no longer functional, my primary systems should begin to melt down. 